Hi. So what is the purpose of the En-ROADS Climate Workshop? You're about to walk into a room to lead it. You're about to turn on Zoom and lead it. You're in the middle of it and you're kind of stuck and it's just not going well. You need to get grounded. Why am I here? What am I doing? So the purpose of the En-ROADS Climate Workshop is learning. You're investing in the learning of participants. And the definition that I like for learning, I picked up from actually one of the people who kicked off Climate Interactive a long time ago, Peter Senge. And he defined learning as building the capacity to take effective action. I'm going to switch over and uh, show that in words here. The words, just so that you see them very clearly. The definition of learning from Peter Senge is building the capacity to take effective action. And there are several words here that are particularly important. So the, the critical words here, the first one is the most important one of all of them, which is action. The most important part of this is that setting people up to do things to address climate and climate related equity. If the computer goes out and doesn't work, if the model doesn't run, whatever, you're there just to have a conversation about, hey, what should we do about these challenges in the world? Action is the most important part of this. Always, if you can, get to the point of people talking about what they're gonna do next. Not gonna change their lives necessarily. Maybe they just have a question they wanna ask. That's an action. The most important part of this is leading to action. The other word is effective effective action. En Roads is particularly good at helping people see the distinction between low leverage things to address climate and climate related equity and high leverage things. Helping people see that distinction, what helps a lot, what helps a little, how to make sure they're taking effective action. The third key word is capacity. What are the capacities that we're trying to build here? The first capacity is understanding. We don't just say, oh, just growing trees doesn't help a lot and move on. We have to build the capacity to think about this complex system in the future. And that means explaining to people why the system does what it does. Taking the time to show what is going on in the model, what is going on in the system to lead to whatever result. Take the time to build people's understanding about how this complex system behaves. The second is motivation, the capacity to be motivated. And that is going to be by showing people and helping people get clear about their vision for the world that they really want, the results that they really want. I'm putting my hand up here to show that vision for what they want. And then down here at the bottom, the current reality of what the world has and where we're headed. The motivation, of course, is to that gap. It comes from that gap, seeing the difference between what we've got and what we want. The third capacity is hope, the ability to commit oneself mm -hmm. day to day, hour to hour, to closing that gap, to bringing the current reality up in line with the vision. Hope is a choice, not an assessment. Choice, hope is the choice to, every day to work to close that gap. Now, along the way, you're building the capacity to take effective action. Um, you're also perhaps enrolling other people in using this simulator and taking it forward in the world. Now, when I said, what's the purpose of the workshop? You'll notice I did not say to introduce a cool tool. It may seem that that's what you're supposed to do. Hey, I've got this cool tool. Let's play with it and think about climate and equity. No. All of that is a means to another end. The end is learning, building the capacity to take effective action. Go get them, everybody.